Hey, welcome back to the Virgo channel. My name is Laura. I'm going to do a general message for you. Know that energy is fluid. Roles can be reversed. I always interpret the message as it best resonates with you. If you're new to the channel, again, welcome. And know that this channel, I like to look at everything. So we do do a deep dive and look at the spiritual wounds, the shadows, and we see how they play out as karmic themes within your experiences. This way, you can have an opportunity to shape shift the situation or break a karmic contract, break a karmic loop. There's many different reasons why we want to do shadow readings, but the biggest reason is so that you can attract the life experiences and the people that resonate with what you want, not with your wounds. That's why. All right. Now, if you want to enter into winning a free reading with me, you got to like the video. You got to subscribe to the channel. And you got to write the word in the video in your comment bar and know that today, well, it's like 1230, you know, a little bit after midnight. Um, so later on today, I will be going through all the videos for the past few months and picking out a lot of winners to do some free lives for because I don't really like to do lives unless there's actually someone on the other end of that live. Um, so anyway, so I want to thank everybody that's been playing the write the word in the video and to know that, you know, stay tuned because after, to, after today, you should uh, start seeing a lot more lives on the page and that'll give you an opportunity to play as well. All right. Just wanted to put that out there. Now we want to, again, see what that underlining energy is. And the underlining energy just tells us, tells me where to start, again, what to look at, and what the underlining energy is, what the real energy is, why everyone's doing what they're doing. Because when we know when we're dealing with the present of spiritual blocks, they don't come from their truth. You know, their, their words and their actions usually do never align. That's the whole thing. When a person has spiritual wounds, they, or, you know, shadows, which are the same thing as your wounds, um, the only difference is wounds could be created in childhood and from the inner child wounds. And then over time, when you don't heal those inner child wounds, you continue to attract the same type of karmic theme. So it's like layers upon layers upon layers. And so what happens is if you're trying to navigate your life and you haven't healed, Again, you're going to overcompensate or undercompensate. You're going to continually strategize, come from more of the survival reptilian mind, not from your heart. So in order to attract abundance, in order to attract love, you have to be in the heart. You have to become the energy of unconditional love because that's actually the energy of God. That's the energy of the universe. That's your true energy when you're born. And you're a baby, you're like you just came out of the womb. Well, again, your energy is just pure consciousness. It's unconditional love. You don't have prejudice. You don't think that anything's inadequate. Everything is perfect. Babies breathe perfect. What happens is, is that we're taught, we're conditioned from our environments. And when we're in a relationship that's toxic, then unfortunately, that type of relationship does have the power to condition your mind the way you think and actually condition your body, it conditions your nervous system. So this is why it's really important to heal. The underlying energy is mistrust, which is bad because um, like, if you don't trust the person that you're with, then what happens is it's like you're always looking for something. Now, like I said, it could be that you've just had a lot of bad relationships and you've gotten to a place of that I just don't trust anymore. Or again, but the thing is, when you're in that energy, it, it has to mean that you're in that energy. And I'm going to tell you what, because the person that's coming to you that you're connected to doesn't trust anyone either. And like goes to like, you're a mirror of whom what comes into your life. Now, does that mean that your approach is the same. No, I feel like, you know, you're someone that doesn't trust, but you try to, you know, and so you're in 
you always tap into your heart, that means. Like I try to um, to give people the benefit of the doubt. Um, I have a lot of trust issues because of the experiences that I went through. However, I'm conscious this is you burden. I feel like your person doesn't trust anyone and because they don't trust anyone, it's um, they're not conscious of it. They're continually in a place of strategy. They're always in a place of the reptilian mind. They're always looking for a problem. And unfortunately, if we don't heal, as I said earlier, we see what we look for. And so this is the underlining energy. It's almost like, I feel like someone feels like you're too good to be true. They almost are like looking for something. And this happens when a person has gone through trauma. So that's the underlining energy. And that's why, now let's see. Um, why I channel that. Let's see what the cards tell us. Quick little shuffle, past. Okay, so again, this person had a hard time letting go of the past and the fears associated with it. So they manifest in chaos in their relationship. So this person, like again, has gone through a lot of bad relationships. And one person, like you said, has gone through a lot of bad relationships. They were not just healing one layer. There's many different layers. So I feel like this place, person plays a lot of games. That it's almost like I feel like they give you enough to keep you on the hook. But then, like, they never follow through. They have commitment issues. And But when you met this person, they didn't act like they had commitment issues. They came coming in fast and hard and... and you know, love bombing you, making you feel really special, making you feel really connected. And then once they got comfortable, that's when the behaviorism started. That's when you started to see this person's true colors. I left you before you look, could leave me. I feel like this person wouldn't let you get close. It's like, and everything was all about them winning strategizing keeping that's the thing it's like it's not that this person didn't have feelings but they care so much about what they look like you know like their ego is still running the show and the thing is when a person hasn't healed that's what happens and that's why i'm saying it's like i feel like this person just wouldn't let you get close in the moment that you tried to get close they would create problems gaslight you make it like you were acting too much acting like you were judging them really like when you're like i just want to know what's going on in, in our connection or i'm just trying to figure out where we are or what you want because you cared about this person and because this person came in love bombing you assumed well you get like me too. So like, but the thing is, I don't really know the direction of this connection. And it wasn't even like you were saying, I need a commitment. That's not what you were saying. What you were saying is I want to be clear about what kind of connection this is. And they didn't want to give you that. They wanted to keep you on the hook without actually telling and the reason why is because once they love bombed you, there was a sense of, hey, there's an emotional connection. They felt confident. And then they were like, well, I don't really have to, you know, do that because I feel like it took them a while. You're someone that was like, I'm not just going to like be with this person because you come in once or twice. It's like this person was coming in and out of your life for a long time and they were putting energy in. So it was just, it wasn't really consistent. And there was always a vibe that sometimes they really wanted the relationship, other times you couldn't really tell. And that it, it was making you not feel safe, not emotionally safe, because you would obviously want to be in a relationship that was consistent. And it was like almost like, um, you obviously wouldn't want to be in a relationship where someone's making you pay for their past. And that's pretty much what this person did. This person's like, I've had a hard time letting go of the past, but I like you and I want you. And so it was all about them. And that's why you say, although it's still strategizing, like leaving. I remember every detail of that day. So even though they left before, you could leave them. They replay in their mind times with you because there is 
a sense of connection. There is a longing, there is love there. This person feels like that. That's why they wanted to keep you on the hook. It's like, I do like you. I just don't know if I want all of that due to my past relationships. Which no one would no one would deal with that right away. I feel you leaving me behind. And it's like it's like because there's a sense of, you know, you're not getting anything. And they know that. And I feel like for a while they held back thinking that you would contact them. And there was also a sense that they really needed you to contact them because of their ego. And it's like, I don't really want to um, humble myself. And I also don't want to give you 100% what you want. Because what you want is your old fashioned. You want a commitment. You want consistency. You want me to show up for you all the time. You want me. This person doesn't. Like I said, I feel like they don't really like that type of relationship because they've been in bad relationships. I also feel like they grew up in an environment where they didn't see it. I feel like their father or mother was emotionally unavailable. So they kind of like have that tendency. I love you. But it's like, again, um, there is a connection, but... And I feel like they think that they love you, but understand they are there, they're wounded. So, and that's why I say, say that they think that they love you. It's like, I feel like because they don't feel like you're going to be sticking around for it, there's a sense of anxiety and nervousness and they wouldn't have that anxiety and nervousness if they didn't have strong feelings for you. I also feel like all that time that they were coming in and out saying, well, I have you on the hook, what was happening was that they were actually getting hooked and that they didn't realize it. It was like, because the relationship wasn't built on, you know, dirty talk and, and uh, you know, lies. Like, you feel like this person tends to, you know, not really have real relationships, have those relationships where they talk to random people and, they keep the people on the hook and never really, it never turns into anything. It's all like fantasy and lies. And so, like I said, I feel like the thing is, is that you, your, your conversation wasn't lies. Your conversation was actually conversation, which meant that the relationship was actually a lot deeper than what they they perceive that it was. So that's the thing. I feel like there's a lot of anxiety now and they're realizing that you're important. And it's not like they didn't realize that you were important before. Like I said, they're revisiting all the conversations that you have had. I feel like they have reread text messages. They've wanted to pick up the phone a lot of times to talk to you. They stalk you on social media. They drive not by your house. If you have mutual friends, they try to find out information. But it's again, this person, like, unless they come clean, unless they're able to voice what they want and really be fair about it, there's a sense of um, their ego. And their ego due to what has happened to them in the past. I can't validate our love in 5D until I understand our spiritual love. Oh, I can't I can validate our love in the 3D until I understand our spiritual love in the 5D. Give me time. So what it is is that this person's really, really grounded. And I feel like you're somebody that's very intuitive and sensitive and and there is a huge spiritual connection and you understand that spiritual connection they don't i feel like the whole time they felt this spiritual connection which is why they kept coming in and out of your life however um i don't think that they felt that they would be affected by it if you weren't in their life and that's the thing i feel like this person um, played a lot of games, played a lot of games. It's like, I know that you're not going to stay with me. And because again, of what's happened in the past and how I feel about myself. And so they projected a lot of their shit onto you. 
And then what it is is that even though that they control the relationship by by leaving you, they're still ruminating on you. They're still obsessively thinking about you. And so the thing is, what they're realizing is, is that I can still feel you. I'm still thinking about you. I still kind of, I, I still want this. This has affected me, but I don't really trust this type of connection. I don't trust myself. It brings up a lot of like fear inside of them because everything that they associate with love is painful. So it's like, knowing and feeling that you have like a 3D connection doesn't really mean anything to this person. It's like they need concrete. They're someone that's very logical, analytical. They don't really like spirit. They're like, yeah, it's cool. And yeah, like I have all these feelings, but it's it's like, first of all, I avoid my feelings. <laughs> and second of all, my feelings make me feel uncomfortable. Third of all, feeling this energy of love doesn't bring up nice memories, brings up like scary memories. So they try to control it by strategizing. And what they see is, well, I still have feelings for you. I couldn't control that because you can't control love. And this is why they're like, I, I love you. Because they're like, I can't control this. So it's almost like they they love love, but I don't feel like they like the feeling of being of, of love, if that makes sense to you. That's why it was like, yeah, they love you, but it's like it doesn't feel like it. And it doesn't feel it because of the way that they react. It's like they don't believe that they're deserving of it. They don't believe that they um it can happen for them. So there's a sense of they always need proof. They always need proof. And also there's a fear of, well, we have this strong spiritual connection. So you're going to have expectations. And I don't know 100% what I want. It's like I want you, but I don't know how to have you without losing myself, without without the relationship to always turning bad without somehow me hurt getting hurt. It's like there's a, a sense of that. And the reason why is because there is every time they get into a connection, it triggers them. It's like, it's, again, they can't help it. It's like if you've gone through a lot of really bad relationships, like I said, you wind up looking for problems and it's almost like this person can't get out of their own way, but they do have feelings. Just only God's love is perfect, you know? And when the person has shadows, this is what it looks like. I think you're beautiful inside and out. I see the light that radiates from your soul. So again, they can feel like you are, like they feel like you're everything that they're not. They feel like, again, you are someone that's from the divine, that you are like a soulful, spiritual person, that you like are just a loving person. It's just, it's so it has nothing to do with you. It, ha it has everything to do with how love makes this person feel. They don't like the feeling of vulnerability. They don't like the feeling of um, of such intense connection. I'm awakening. I know more than I'm letting on. I feel like this love and this separation has created some sort of awakening with inside this person. So they've been doing a lot of reflection on the way that they treated you, on you know, just their wounding, just on, you know, their past relationships, on how they contributed, that they've been doing a lot of shadow work. But I feel like one of the elements that pushed them into this awakening was the fact that you left. 
I want to know everything about you, but I hold myself back from asking. I'm afraid I'll get in too deep. They're afraid that they're going to, again, lose themselves in this connection because um, I feel like in past relationships that were not as deep, they tend to lose themselves. So I feel like this person is also an empath. And what happens is, is that they don't like who they are. So they go into a relationship and they overgive. And then what happens is, is that they lose themselves in overgiving and then they don't like that. So I feel like they've learned to, to uh, navigate their relationships where they still come in super fast because they're insecure and love bomb and form that attachment. But then they never really make a decision on what the hell they want to do. And it's always because, again, of what's happened in the past. But it's not that they don't love you. It's that they just want to keep you on the hook. And it's all because that they don't trust. But I feel like you attracted this person also because you don't trust, right? We get the energy that we hold. I feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears that you'll leave me for good. So again, this is like the sense of even though they left you before you left them, there's a sense that like that energetic connection, that 3D connection that, that, that you know, that they feel, feel that spiritual connection, they feel like it's like, um, being caught they almost feel like you're like detaching from them and that is triggering them because you know there was a sense of wanting to keep you on the hook so they were able to come in and out of your life for a long time and what i feel like is is that um this time it's different That's really what it is. It's like there's a sense that you're like, you know, this spiritual connection that we have just isn't enough. You have to give me more. Just because you're stuck in the past doesn't mean that I should have to pay for it. And it's like our hearts are connected. Take a moment to close your eyes and feel the connection. So it's again, your person is still banking on like this connection through the heart. And it's still, I feel like, unfortunately, a little bit trying to manipulate instead of just coming in. They feel that you are disconnecting from them. It's creating a lot of anxiety, but they're still like, our hearts are connected. Like, we still have this spiritual connection, like, and they're almost like banking a little bit too much on that, that they don't have to do anything to fix this connection. I need to be strong in who I am before I can merge my energy with yours in the 3D. I'm afraid I could lose myself in this relationship. It's the same thing. It's the same thing that I've been saying like the whole time. It's like, that's really what it is. It's like this person, like, <laughs> like due to their past relationship, they're afraid that they're going to lose themselves in it. So they want to keep you on the hook, but they, and they kind of feel like your connection is strong enough to be able to withstand like whatever this is. There's a lesson to be learned in this. And I feel like the lesson like is going to be that you don't tolerate it, to be honest with you. Because I feel like this person... Um, again, feels that 3D connection and but isn't putting any energy into the 5D connection. And so if that happens, then, you know, it's, you don't have a relationship. The relationship's in the fantasy world and it's not fair to you because of what they've gone through. I just want to pull three cards from here, see if there's any more little messages, um, which is rings. So it's like, they want to come in and it, because there is a still a st really strong connection that they feel like they want to figure out right now where they are is where what kind of agreement 
that they can come up with what like what will you agree to what like they want to find like find but this is because they really feel like you're leaving them behind this is like I feel like a day before you decide or that moment that you're like, I don't really want to be with you anymore is like when this person shows back up in your life and they're like, because they don't feel that, that connection, that spiritual connection anymore. And then they're like, okay, like what, what do you want? Tell me what you want. What, like, what can we agree on? And that's why you said, I kind of feel like when they finally get around doing it, you're going to be like, I don't really want this. Because it, it's like they made you wait. It's like, and there was an essence of like, again, that they felt like they needed to do that like, for themselves, but after all the back and forth. So again, um, yeah, like they, they again, do it again. They, they want to, they want to like do, they want to give it another chance. They, they want to, they feel like it can. And I feel like with you that there's a sense of it depends on whether or not where you are within your career. Because the inventor in the imagination and like you're doing stuff, you're creating stuff. And I feel like uh, so much time is going to go by that, you know, you're going to be like, I don't really, I'm not in this space anymore because you've been in and out. Yeah, conviction, decision made. Like, again, that your decision's going to be made, and I'm, I'm telling you, um, offer accepted. So there's a sense of, like, if this person comes back into your life, that some of you, because it's a collective reading, will will like be give this person a chance but only be giving this person a chance if everything is done on your on your um terms because like like offer accepted you know and and it being fair like this is and like to bring order to the connection right i mean it's a it is a serious connection so it's almost like what I'm feeling is this connection, by the time that this person comes back, they're going to make you an offer that you can't refuse. That, that's really what it is because you're going to be in a totally different headspace. You're going to be in a totally different headspace where this person's going to feel like you really don't need them, that you have the upper hand. <clears throat> And I feel like they really kind of need to do that because there's a sense of them like waiting to the relationship completely like was ruined before they come back in. Like, like you completely let go of this relationship and then they come back in. So there is a sense of you being like, I don't really know if I want this now and kind of being annoyed. And that's why they're like offering as much as they're offering yeah it's their strategy yeah it's there it's again it's a master plan and so like you said this is how this person operates and i feel like you don't operate this way um but they do and they, they and they have because of all their past relationships so for those of you that um want to be with this person they are coming back it's just it's, but it's because they couldn't let you go. They wanted to let you go. They did let you go. And I, I think that it's um, because it got to a point where you were like, I don't really want to be on the hook. Like, you tell me what you want. You're not going to tell me what you want. I'm leaving. And they were like, didn't really believe it, didn't really believe it, didn't really believe it, pushed it, pushed it, pushed it. So I have to ask, why did you attract this person into your life? Because we're a mirror of who and what comes into our life. Not to mention if for those of you that do want to be in this connection, you have to you have to know what your spiritual blocks are in order to deal with this person. Because I like just because they're coming back doesn't mean that they're healed. Okay. It's like 
they still haven't dealt with their past, you know, trauma of all those bad relationships. What they just saw in this connection is that they couldn't control love. They tried to, they left. It's like, and then after they left, they felt like shit about it and they couldn't stop thinking about it. And so, like I said, so it's almost like I'm coming back, but understand this person's still wounded. So even if you don't want to get back together with this person, you have to say, why did you attract this person? Because you can um, attract the same type of energy if you don't integrate the spiritual lesson, right? That's why if you don't like this energy. Um, imagination. So I feel like during this time, during when this person was in separation from you, there, um, you kind of lost yourself in the things which you like to do. You you lost yourself in finding yourself. You lost yourself in like, and why I say that is because children use their imagination. But children use their imagination because they go out into the world and they, you know, have no expectation of anything and they're, you know, intuitively navigating. And I feel like, you know, when we, navigate our lives that way we get ideas we get ideas and so i feel like you utilize those ideas in your work i feel like you utilized those ideas and like your imagination within your creativity you used your imagination in a lot of different ways during this time unworthy i feel like again when you were growing up you felt unworthy. Imagination, by the way, is a childhood gift. So, I mean, it brought you back to this time. Um, this person made you feel unworthy because, again, they, they want to keep you on the hook but don't want to give you anything. So it brought back that childhood wound. I also feel like trauma when somebody that you love and care about, someone that, like, acts like they care about you too, doesn't give you love, that's a way that trauma tends to like push us into our imagination, right? Because it's like, it's, a, it's psychic trauma, it's psychological trauma, it's emotional trauma. You can felt that this person liked you. That's why they were keeping you on, on the hook. They just didn't want to give you what you deserved because of what they've gone through within their life. Um, but obviously we know because they're coming back that that spiritual connection has been strong. That's what it said the whole time, but this person didn't value that. They were like, I don't value the imagination. I don't value, you know, ESP connection. I don't like whatever. It's like, this person's very logical. Again, they're str they strategize. I said that through the whole thing. This is how they maneuver. This is how they... They uh, navigate. And again, optimism. So almost like, um, like I feel like you utilized your talents and you utilized everything that you had in, in the most the best way and that also helped your career it also helped you um find new new avenues to go go to go into so you became more of a rounded person and this is also why this person feels you leaving them behind because it's like during this time of separation it's not like you were sitting there waiting for this person to come back <laughs> You were creating yourself. You were finding yourself. You were like a child, right? You're utilizing your imagination, because that's what they say. Be like childlike when you use your imagination. And you, um, if you can imagine it, you can, can create it. When you're utilizing these broken structures of whatever they are to help create yourself. And that could be, you know, a, a group that it's not a perfect group. That's why it's considered a broken structure, but you're utilizing it for the best way that you can to help 
achieve your goal, to help you come closer to whatever you're trying to manifest. And in that, when you optimize your um, the tools that you have, then what happens is is that you see yourself differently. You actually heal this unworthiness because you're you're creating something. You're becoming a part of something. You're connecting to other people in doing so. And so during the separation, I feel like you wound up becoming a better version of yourself, which is what cut this spiritual energy again that 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 connection, that ESP connection with this person felt like they didn't really have to do anything. They wanted to keep you on the hook. And eventually things were just going to pan out. Well, what they saw is they didn't pan out. And that they didn't pan out because they didn't come back. And what they saw is you became somebody else. And in that, that's what's making them come back and actually offering you what you deserve. Because the, I feel like there was a sense when they first met you that they didn't feel that you were as rooted in maybe your career and just not really knowing you too. They didn't put the effort in, but their, their perception of you. So they might not have understood your career. They might not have understood who you were fully, maybe who you hung out with, certain elements of you, which made them be a little like a standoffish. And now that the separation, you know, and then they see you completely different. And obviously in the fact that you have become different, you don't really have a connection to this person anymore. And that terrified them. That's really what shape-shifted this energy. And that's the only way you could possibly shape-shift energy like this. Because when a person has a spiritual block, it's like they, they don't want to, change the way that they're dealing and this person we can see see the way that they come back is they still strategize before they were strategizing to get what they want without having to give you anything and then strategizing a way to make you cave to come back to them and now what we see is that they're coming back and they're strategizing a way to be like well now i have to figure out a way that i'm going to win you over which is why they offer you um they, they offer you like something that you can't refuse. You know, they make you an offer that you can't refuse. So it's almost like maybe they help you with your business venture. Maybe they wind up like saying that they're going to do something, give something, they're going to prove themselves. There's going to be something there. So again, so in that you also see because you put the energy into yourself now you're also seeing that this person is seeing your worth. And that is also, whether you take them back or not, is actually healing also. Because you're like, yeah, now you see my worth. It's like, and by, by you seeing my worth now, it's helping me see my worth even more, even though I saw it through the fact that I created it. You see that I always had worth. But by me giving you so much time and letting you keep me on the hook and and kind of making me pay for what you've gone through in your past is what made you cocky on top of that, you know, 3D connection that we had or 5D connection that we had. You know, it's like that is what made you feel like you didn't need to do anything. But I actually had to cut that connection in order to make it and now this person is not they're going to come back but they're not getting the same version of you like that connection is gone they're going to have to work to get that fast and if it's just real spiritual connection i feel like you they'll be able to get it back but they're going to have to earn it peace i am unwavering in the face of fear i come to my senses and embrace challenge I am determined to think with gentleness and calm. I find inner silence and become a manifestation of peace. So spirit is been saying like the key, the key is to never let anyone rob your peace. And I feel like that's really what's the nugget that the healing antidote 
nugget is what I mean that the moment that this person kept you on the hook, really, you should have walked away. But really, when they were really like trying to keep you up in your head and keep you on, on, on towards the end, that's when you cut it. And it was because it was, it, it was um, robbing your peace. And when I say cut it, I mean that spiritual connection, your mind can't be in two places at one time. You, you know, finding yourself, well, again, inevitably brought you into a newer version of yourself, which is what brought back your peace. And that is what your person actually didn't like because then they couldn't feel that connection anymore. They didn't care. They kept you on the hook and were making you miserable. Obviously, if there's still an emotional connection, you care about me. And it means that I have leverage. And then whether it's true or not, it's been true in the past. And this is the way that this person learned to navigate relationships due to their past. So it's again, the key is doesn't matter what a person has gone through. Never let anyone rob your peace. The answer is always to come back to that space. I'm going to leave that there, Virgo. I hope you resonated. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.